Hey guys, what is up? I am back and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a Dream Glow effect directly in Premiere Pro. So here's the example and let's get to it. Okay, so you have your footage that you want to turn into a flashback or a dream. And what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate that footage by clicking Alt and dragging the footage up. So now you have two copies. The first thing you're gonna do is go to Effects, Gaussian Blur, drag that on top, Effect Controls, and drag that up to something like 700. And repeat edge pixels. Okay, cool. Now the next thing you're gonna go do is go to Blend Mode, and you're gonna set this to linear dodge add and you can see we're already getting a, a dreamy glow effect but there's some more things we can do to this first because we have a subject in the frame what we're going to do is draw a little mask so create a lips mask drag that to where your subject is press invert and then feather the crap out of it as far as you can possibly go um, you can drag the mask expansion to whatever you want. I like it to be barely noticeable. So something around there works for me. And now the subject won't be as affected in your shot. And the last thing you can do is um, go to Lumetri Color, drag that on. So you can make this, you know, warmer if it's happier, or cooler if it's a sadder scene, or, you know, go crazy if you want to. So I'm going to make this warmer. Something like that. And there you go. Very quick and easy dream glow effect directly in Premiere Pro. Direct... <laughs> directly in Premiere Pro. Now there's other things you can do with this. Uh, maybe you want to make it a little more stylistic. So what you could do is go into your Gaussian Blur and instead of horizontal and vertical, you could just do horizontal. And that kind of gives you these lens flare -y effects. I would take off repeat edge pixels if you're doing that though. This kind of gives it a nice light streak. You know, and then you can do the opposite. If you want more vertical streaks, you can have your vertical streaks. To really go crazy or just mess around with whatever, you can try to change the blend modes to different things and just see what happens. So... Lighten gives an interesting kind of vintage feel to it. Screen is a lot less uh, a lot less bright, but a little bit more blurry and a little more subtle than add. Color is kind of interesting for this one. It's giving it a sepia feel. So yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do with this very simple effect, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and you stick around for more, because there's going to be more coming. So thank you very much.